Okay, we're gonna be harsh this video. We're gonna look at every popular album released in 2023 and classify them as either fire, meh, or trash. Let's do this. Okay, starting off with some trash, Pink Friday 2. I love Nicki and I really wanted to like this one, but I was just expecting it to be at least somewhat similar to Pink Friday, which had party anthems and bangers, like super bass, moment for life, did it on them, but it wasn't like that at all. There were just too many samples, some of them didn't even make any sense, and some of the rapping was even off beat so just a bad album trash next one in trash is jack men by jack harlow just horrible 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 i don't know how his label let him release this one honestly next one is for all the dogs j cole and adonis carried this one kidding but seriously there were only like three decent songs out of the 22 and they're not even in my rotation anymore they're very forgettable i think her loss which is his most recent album with 21 savage was miles miles better some i still listen to i still listen to that album when I go to the gym. For All the Dogs was just not it. It was overhyped and a disappointment. So, okay, next one is Portals by Melanie Martinez. Another disappointment. The songs just did not sound good at all, except for like maybe Void and Evil, which were both okay. Again, it sucks because I love Melanie. I'm still a huge fan of K12 and Crybaby. So, this was a letdown. She's still great, of course, though. Okay, moving on to the meh category, we got Speak Now, Taylor's version. Okay, I'm so sorry. I know I have a a lot of Swifties here. I am a Swiftie myself, so I just want to say Speak Now is not a bad album, but I was just disappointed by the vault tracks a little bit and that really pointless lyric change and Better Than Revenge. I do think I Can See You was pretty good and I love the music video. I love the reveal and everything at the tour, but overall, I personally am not the biggest fan of Speak Now and I was just hoping the vault tracks would captivate me a little bit more and they didn't, so I'm so sorry. Yeah. Next one in the meh category is Scarlet. Okay, I loved Planet Her. I loved Hot pink but unfortunately this album just does not compete with any of them i'd even go as far as say it does not compete with amara too but yeah this does not compete with them and it's pretty sad i've seen her live and i've seen her performances and she's such a great performer and the energy is phenomenal but i wasn't the biggest fan of this new era the new look but i was just still so invested in the music and i was still willing to give this album a shot because i know she's such a talented artist but the only songs i liked were like paint the town red balut and gun They're they're good songs, but yeah, nothing crazy. Again, my expectations are too high because Planet Her and Hot Pink were phenomenal. Next one on the meh category is Utopia. Yeah, disappointing and overhyped just like for all the dogs, but this one is slightly better. Really don't have much else to say on that. Okay, next one on the meh category is Did You Know There's a Tunnel Under Ocean Boulevard by Lana Del Rey. Yeah, this one was good. It was just slightly boring at times. None of the sounds really appealed to me besides Let the Light In, a Candy Necklace, and Peppers maybe. But the other 13 tracks were pretty much a drag for me so okay next one in meh is golden by jungkook or jungkook i don't know how you pronounce it well the album was only 11 songs and they all sounded good but a bit too formulaic like in the pop sense so nothing really stuck out to me it's kind of all over the place with remixes and stuff so it's just not cohesive at all it is also really hard to make it cohesive when there's only 11 songs in the album next one in meh endless summer vacation by miley cyrus i am a huge fan of jaded it used to be young river but the rest of the songs were pretty much a letdown. It was disappointing again because I love Miley. I really loved her Plastic Hearts era, but I also hated Flowers and still don't understand why that got the amount of radio play that it did. It was a really bad choice for a single in my opinion. Okay, we are entering the fire category, which are all amazing albums released this year. First one has to be Guts by Olivia Rodrigo. I love the direction Olivia's going in. The album really solidified her as a great, not only pop star, but a rock star. The production on the pop rock song Songs are insane but I also am a huge fan of the ballads she has such a great voice of course and there's not a single skip on guts I really liked the grudge pretty isn't pretty Lacey had amazing lyrics those are probably my top three songs next album on fire is the record by boy genius the band boy genius was revived and they came in hot that run between track four and six is insane the true blue cool about it and not strong enough those are such amazing songs I was very surprised with this album okay next one on fire is 1989 Taylor's version. Of course, 1989 is the best pop album of all time, and the vault tracks in this really ate. It's crazy because the first night I listened to the vault tracks, I was like, I don't know how I feel about them, but I felt myself slowly get addicted to each of them over the next few days, and I really loved Now That We Don't Talk and Is It Over Now, of course. Such great songs, such a great album. Next one on fire is Bad Bunny's new album. This album goes so hard. Bad Bunny really knows how to make hits, and he just delivers every time, and they're just so addictive. My favorites are probably 
probably Where She Goes and Monaco. Those are so good. Next album in the fire category is Think Later by Tate McRae. Tate McRae fucking delivered. The production and catchiness on every single track is unmatched to anything she's ever done. And I was a huge fan of her first album. But this one was just on another level. Her pop songs are catchier than ever. She's bigger than ever. And if you haven't seen her perform live, you need to. She is incredible and really puts on the best show for your money's worth. Definitely recommend. The next album in the fire category is Good Riddance by Gracie Abrams. Gracie Abrams really put crack in this album and I'm addicted. Maybe shouldn't say that, but every time I go to the airport, I make sure this entire album is downloaded because it's just such a vibe. I swear I can't name my favorite songs because there is literally no skips on this album. Every song on this album is my favorite song. But if I had to choose, it would probably be between I Should Hate You and The Blue. So if you're really into sad music, I definitely recommend. The next album is The First Time by Kid Leroy. We finally got a Kid Leroy album and it just hit. I really like what just happened and bleed of course if you haven't listened to those songs you really need to kid Leroy has such a great sound mastered great voice great everything the first time is definitely his best work so far okay and the next one is zach bryan by zach bryan i say this one for last because the title is literally ranking pop albums and this is definitely a country album but it's a really popular one so pop popular you know my favorites are probably hey driver and i remember everything with casey musgraves such great songs another one where if you're into sad music i definitely recommend or even if you're just driving zach bryan is such a vibe he's awesome and he's killing it so but yeah that's all i have thank you guys so much for watching it would mean the world to me if you guys would subscribe i post every week so i'll see you guys soon later